Hi, I'm Mitch Vogt, Research Analyst with Arnold Messina. Welcome to Bitcoin 101, where I'll answer some fundamental questions like, where did Bitcoin come from and how does it work? Thanks for joining us for this short tutorial about cryptocurrencies. Let's get started. Bitcoin is consistently one of the top Google searches and had a record-breaking year in 2017. It is officially accepted as a method of payment in Japan and an estimated 30,000 new Bitcoin wallets are created daily. Some major retailers have started accepting Bitcoin and exchanges are opening up around the world. Bitcoin is based on blockchain technology, a disruptive technology, meaning that whether or not Bitcoin catches on permanently, it will likely change the way we view and use currency. Bitcoin functions like a digital currency, also known as a cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are peer-to-peer -peer transaction systems hosted electronically over the internet. Bitcoin is completely decentralized, with no government or central bank controlling it. Instead, it's controlled by the general public, sort of like Wikipedia. As a digital currency, Bitcoin can be easily transferred directly between parties anytime and anywhere. There is no material, like paper or coins. Balances and transactions are just maintained digitally. This means that each transaction is verified, then protected by a complex mathematical puzzle. Security is provided as Bitcoin miners solve the puzzle and are rewarded with a small amount of Bitcoin. The puzzles can only be solved by computing power. There are no shortcuts or tricks. Because of this cost, it's prohibitively expensive to hack the blockchain, providing an additional layer of security. There were many failed attempts at creating digital currencies prior to Bitcoin, so it's not the first try. It was created in 2008 by someone or some group under the alias Satoshi Nakamoto. The first Bitcoin purchase was a couple years later for two Papa John's pizzas. The price? 10,000 Bitcoin, which today is worth over a hundred million dollars. Bitcoin's price is nearly 10 times what it was at the start of this year and other cryptocurrencies are experiencing similar growth. The aggregate value of the top five cryptocurrencies is up nearly 15 times in 2017 and larger than some of the biggest companies in the world, including Nike, Disney, AT&T, and Visa. Keep in mind though, that while cryptocurrencies are growing, that growth has been extremely volatile. The popularity of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is largely due to the innovative technology behind it. The decentralization of control, taking power out of the hands of central banks and putting it into the hands of people, is very attractive. With a safe way to transfer money directly from one individual to another, even across borders, there is less reliance on banks and brokers. It's secure, fully transparent, completely anonymous, and bypasses unnecessary fees. For some countries like Venezuela, Iran, and Zimbabwe, Bitcoin represents increased currency stability and reliability over their embattled local currencies. I would argue that it's the closest thing we have to a global currency, even closer than the dollar or the euro. And finally, people are looking to profit by speculating on Bitcoin. There are some very important downsides with Bitcoin to both the user and society in general, and these risks should be taken very seriously. While Bitcoin is very secure, the exchanges on which Bitcoin trades are not. If you're interested in learning more about this, you can read about the Mt. Gox exchange, where mismanagement resulted in the loss of millions of dollars in Bitcoin. The earliest widespread adoption of Bitcoin was in the black market, as it makes tracking criminal activity much more difficult, creating a risk to society. It also uses a huge amount of energy. Blockchain miners around the world use more energy than 159 countries and 12 US states. Lastly, Bitcoin is up against some stiff competition. Other cryptocurrencies, or altcoins, such as Ethereum, 
pose a threat to Bitcoin's position as the leading cryptocurrency. Of course, there is no way to predict the future. All cryptocurrencies are subject to extreme volatility since they are still new and the world is still adapting to this paradigm shift. Governments haven't quite figured out how to deal with them and people are still trying to understand them. Given the advantages of this technology, cryptocurrencies are probably here to stay. But that doesn't necessarily mean Bitcoin. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Thanks for joining us today. We'll keep you updated as the cryptocurrency drama continues to unfold.